What up, cousins? Anthony Jones with Brigade Boats, and it's a little hard to follow that dramatic introduction, but this is Chapter 8 of the Top Gun Portage on Build, and in today's video, I'm going to take you to art class. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step and with time-lapse video how I hand-paint my World War II Flying Tigers-themed shark's teeth on my John boat, so stick around, guys, and I'm going to show you how I do it. It's time for some shark teeth, baby. Now you may say, Anthony, why are you doing the shark's teeth at this stage? Why would you not do it like your last boat? Paint the boat first and then do the shark's teeth paint job over the finished paint job. Well, guys, this boat is actually getting painted professionally by my good friend Chris at ATF Hydrographics and Send It John Boats. The main reason I painted the shark's teeth before final paint, as you can see in this footage, we needed the shark's teeth on the boat as a reference point to lay out the rest of the paint job, which would feature some panels and some faux rivets. So we started with the shark's teeth as the starting point and then based the rest of the paint job around where they were on the boat. Now that I got that out of the way, we're gonna get started. Now to get started on the actual shark teeth, we're gonna need this box way up here for the decal. Note to self, do not store the decal rolled up in a cardboard box for three years. So the story with this mess is, um, a few years ago when I did my first boat, I ordered this decal online. I'll leave the link down in the description for either this exact one or one very similar. Um, it has been a few years, but anyhow, I got this decal in and I was just going to run a decal on my boat, but uh, the quality just was not the greatest. I mean, it's okay, but it, it just was not the look I was going for. And I thought to myself, wait a second, what if I cut up the decal and use it? as a stencil to then draw on the boat and then hand paint everything to give it an authentic look. And that's what I did. So we're going to skip over the step of me actually cutting this decal up, but it's a uh, self-explanatory guys. I cut the top section teeth. You've got the middle section that's black that goes in between the teeth. You've got the tongue um, where I cut off the bottom section of teeth. And then what I did was uh, pretty much outline the teeth and then go down the middle um, between the red and the black and um, this was uh, the shape of the front of the boat so we didn't need that and uh, that's how I did it and basically this gave me the general outline of where all the teeth the tongue and um, the outlines of the teeth and the eyes go and then I just kind of used my own artistic Bob Ross approach to paint everything um, inside and uh, it turned out really nice and that's what we're going to do on this one Now that I've got this side all marked out, I'm taking my tape measure and I'm measuring some reference points from this side and I'm scribing them on this side. 
basically for my eyeball i'm just measuring out to a point and measuring down and then for the teeth we know that it starts here at this uh in the middle of this rib so i'm just measuring down to an inch and a half reveal and i'm just lining everything up and checking it with the other side to replicate that other side as best as i can i'm going to skip all this guys but i did want to make that a quick note for you if you're trying to do this at home um, we're going to pick it back up on the other side and we're going to do a step-by-step -step paint on one side and then i'm going to show you the finished result of the entire boat when it's done Let's take a look at some of the supplies I'm going to use to paint these shark's teeth on the Top Gun Portage on. We've got this Crafter's Choice brush set that I got from Hobby Lobby for $12.99. I needed some new brushes, so I went and picked these up. And then we're going to run the same colors and the same paint that I used on the Top Gun John boat to hand paint the shark's teeth on it. Rust-Oleum Gloss White, Gloss Black, and Gloss Sunrise Red, all oil-based enamel, guys. And you're going to see that I'm not going to tape any of the teeth off or tape anything off. I'm, I'm not going to use painter's tape at all. I'm just going to hand paint everything with brushes. You could very well try to do this, but it's so detailed. Um, the last go round, I tried to do it and it was just such a pain to do. So um, if you want, you, you can maybe try to do it and you maybe you can even try to spray some of the stuff, but I'm not going to go that route because I've used this route before and it worked well for me and I'm going to just do it again.